The goal of this video is not to beg for your forgiveness. It is not to defend my side or make any excuses whatsoever. That is someone who is confused in the darkest place I've ever been. Um, coping with Let's talk about Summer McKean's apology, okay? There's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot she didn't talk about, which I'm... Which if you did some like she did not just do one thing wrong she did like 10 things wrong that people just called her out for okay so if she did like and she knew the stuff that she was being called out for okay let's not pretend like she doesn't know i'm pretty sure she saw all the drama videos all the tea videos all the exposed videos about her she knew exactly what she was being called out for but decided not to address all of it so First of all, she didn't talk about her makeup line. In the video, the apology video, she keeps on saying that she loves every single one of you guys. Like, every single one of her fans, she just loves. But how are you going to love every single one of your fans if you don't even make products for each and every single one of your fans and just for your white fans? Because we all know the tea that happened with that. She made, like, she came up with this, like, makeup line or something like that. And the products were for one shade. It was for white people. So how can you sit down and say you love everyone when you don't make products for everyone? Like, that didn't make sense to me. I didn't talk about her black woman powder thing that she said. Also, she didn't talk about her and Allie coming back from the club, like, drunk or high or whatever it was. There were pictures leaked of them, like, it was, it, they both didn't really look good, to be completely honest with you. So, she didn't talk about that. Just uh, disappointing that she didn't address everything, but at least she came clean and at least she apologized. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. At least, okay, first of all, at least she had her makeup on and it was like a good camera quality. You know when YouTubers apologize and they're just like in a gray hoodie with no makeup on, just like some, you know what I'm talking about? So at least she had makeup on, at least she was looking good, okay? But she used the YouTuber excuse. She done did it. She used the YouTuber excuse, which was, I was in a dark place. As you guys know, okay, even if you don't know, if you make an apology on YouTube, most YouTubers constantly use the phrase, I was in a dark place. Who the heck tells them to use this phrase? That's what I want to know. Who, like, maybe their manager, I don't know, but someone is telling them to say, say you were in a dark place, because how convenient is it that every single YouTuber says that phrase in their apology video? But here's the kicker. First, she says, I'm not going to make excuses for myself. And then she makes excuses for herself. So it's contradicting as heck, okay? And g fans aren't having it, okay? I saw the comments. The likes and dislikes are uh, outrageous, okay? People are not buying what she is selling. People are so, so disappointed. And they are not taking this apology, okay? They are coming back with full force, okay? They do not care about her apologizing. They do not feel sorry for Summer whatsoever. And that's the thing with apology videos. It can kind of go both ways. It can either be good and you can win your fan sympathy back or it can go completely south and more people will unsubscribe. So, it's... I think that she made a good apology, I guess. I mean, she came clean about her white privilege, which, which was weird. She said that she was in a dark place and all this type of stuff and also don't put anything on the internet that you don't want the world to see especially even if you have a finsta even if your close friends are on your finsta don't post anything that you wouldn't want the world to see i'm just saying because that will come back and it will haunt you and i thought a 20 year old girl would know that but i guess not so, I mean, honestly, here's the thing. She did it to herself. Everything that happened, she did it to herself because, first of all, she didn't get hacked. Okay, no one hacked her iCloud. Her iCloud? Her cloud. No one hacked her phone. No one leaked the videos, like, because they hacked her. Okay, she willingly posted those videos. Even though it was on a private account, she willingly 
posted it okay and I thought she would know because like she's a social media influencer okay the kids the kids, the kids look up to her okay because when you are social when you choose to be okay she chose to be a social media influencer no one sat her down and handed her two million subscribers okay she chose to be on youtube she chose to put herself in that way you should have known by being an influencer you are set to a higher standard than anyone else and you know little kids look up to you and does that mean you can't drool or you can't smoke or you can't drink no that doesn't mean that it means you have to be honest with people you you have to be honest with the people who subscribe to you that's what that means like ev yes everyone makes mistakes everybody has those days okay but she clearly has been hiding something from her fans because she was in a dark place kind of brushed over the whole racist allegations that were made about her she didn't even like bring up the tweet that she liked she kind of just addressed the video that came out where she was talking in a really not so nice way but yeah that's basically all she brought up she didn't she didn't clarify everything for everyone which is a little sketch but okay and she's also taking a break which i feel like is well needed for her take a break get out of your dark place and then return okay you, she might have less subscribers but that's okay because we need to get youtubers out of this dark place so they don't have any scandals anymore anyway like this video if you like this video subscribe for more content from me and i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys bye guys love you